They're like the annoying like little the, brothers. The happy going <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to jump right into it. Do you know what we're doing, JT? We're just uh, going to talk no. life. Right, cool. We're going to talk life. This is called Off Pitch 74. This is episode nine for the year. Does that sound good? And we're here with JT Marcinkowski. How are Let's you, do man? Doing well. Yeah? yeah. Is Be- that beautiful day? I it mean, is a beautiful day today. It's freaking hot today. Yeah, it is a little bit warm. Do we look good? Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. So, dude, you just got back from a big trip. Talk about that. So, I was obviously in, like, in Orlando. Um, actually, got called in pretty late to it. I wasn't originally supposed to go. Uh, I went to the homegrown game last year and had a blast. I mean, it was a great time. So, isn't that the worst feeling? Like, what? not originally getting called to it? I was I was not mad at it at all. Okay, good. Yeah, because I was good. like, okay, yeah, I've done it one year. It was cool. Um, kind of don't need to do it again. Yeah. And then I found out it was like Monday afternoon or Monday night after because we had a night training. And I was leaving Tuesday morning to go to, to Reno for five days. So I kind of need to figure everything out within like an hour. Yeah. So I was talking to the coaches. I was like, well, can I go? And they're like, what is what is it? And I was like, well, I didn't really know about it either. And then it was all of a sudden I was like, kind of things got moving really fast. And I was like, well, time to pack for 10 days uh, tonight. And so I went to Reno, played two games there. And then that next Sunday, like at 6 a.m., I flew to Orlando, trained that afternoon. God. Yeah, played on Tuesday. Do you get exhausted from all this traveling? Gotten used to it. I do like one flight yeah. and it takes me like a week to recover. <laughs> kind of get. I mean, when I go to Reno, it's just like an afternoon nap. So yeah. it's not that bad. How do you yeah. like Reno? I love um, Reno. So when I first started going up there and I was like, what is this place? Because <laughs> I was only like downtown. So I was like only near the casinos. And like if we're being honest, like Harris isn't the nicest of the casinos. No. And so, but like the more I started to explore and kind of go to Midtown, go to the river, like Riverwalk, it was like really cool. They have a river in Reno. The Truckee River, like, literally runs right through Reno. I don't think it runs through the center more. There's Reno. really a river in Reno. Yeah, have you heard of the Truckee River? No, I have yeah. not. Have I just been like I right? Said on... you love Reno. No, I do love Reno, <laughs> but I, know I, I guess I've never noticed that there's a <laughs> river. Probably because I'm like in the casinos the whole time, and I don't go. You have to walk up... like four blocks <laughs> down Virginia. Never noticed yeah. the river. <laughs> I've never been there before. Yeah. yeah. Huh. But I actually, no, I do enjoy it. I le- I love to gamble. So I like going there. And Do you win? Going, uh, once I did. And every other time it was like, it was like, oh, that one time I had all that good luck. I do, um, not roulette. What's the other one? Craps. Yeah. And I had like one really good roll one roll time. Like an and hour. like people were, yeah. And people like gave me money because I gave them money. I was like, yep, I'm a good luck charm. Yeah. But <laughs> ever since then, it hasn't, but I'm like, no, I'm a good luck charm. It's going to yeah. come back one time. Exactly. And it's never come back. Okay. Well, back to Orlando. Let's talk about. I didn't. I'm gonna admit it. I didn't watch any okay. of the game. No, it's okay. I had to fly to LA for the day. I was yeah. really busy, but I really wanted to watch the game. So talk about the game. So you I, I were played, really good. <laughs> well, I was all right. So I played the last 30 minutes. So there's three keepers there, and so I played the last 60 through 90th minute, and I came on. It was one one, and then they actually scored off like a. I wasn't really happy with the goal. And so it was 2-1, and then we scored late. It was We scored almost like the last kick of the ball off a corner kick, so it was 2-2. So I was, like, really happy when we were going to Penns. So I was like, yeah. okay, hopefully I can make up for, like, kind of the goal that I let in. And so and that happened to work out that saved two of them. And you just saved, like, boom, yeah. boom, boom. <laughs> is that the worst feeling ever, is getting a goal scored on you? Um, Depends how the goal goes in, yeah. to be honest. If it's, like, a bad goal from – Either like my mistake or one of the guys' mistakes, and it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. But I mean, if they score a good goal, it's kind of have to tip tip your cap, tip, tip your cap, um, and give it to them. But tip your cat. T- yeah. Well, hopefully, tip hopefully, your cat. yeah, yeah. Meow. Cat tipping. Yeah. <laughs> I um I love when it's so it's not funny, but when when something happens and you guys get really angry and you're yeah. like yelling at the defenders like if I was a goalie I would go <laughs> insane like I would probably look like a maniac there has to be a good people. balance though like yeah. you, have, you have to like you can yell at them but you also have to encourage them a yeah. lot more than you yell or else they'll just tune you out I feel like that's how we deal with each other yeah. right we yell at each other but then we encourage yeah it's, 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 it <laughs> sounds like it's a lot more yelling, <laughs> more yelling. Yeah. yeah some weeks are better than others uh, so that, but you guys had, was it the day before that you guys had a skills challenge yeah, and you were yeah. like, 
No, same day. Sa- that was the same day. Yeah. You had to do a skills challenge on the same day that you had to play a game. Yeah, so like, we finished the game. So we finished the penalties. Now that was probably around seven. And then got a quick bite to eat. And then we went back out and did a skills challenge. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, that so was pretty tell, cool. What was the skills challenge? Because I didn't watch that either. So I didn't tell know we were doing that. it. So we found out like, the day before that we were a part of it. So they did three ch- like three different skills so one was like a penalty shot like we weren't in it was just like targets yeah and then the second one was a cross volley so there was three teams so there was the all-stars that was wayne rooney carlos vela and jonathan dos santos Mm -hmm. and then there was three guys from orlando it was nani chris mueller and then someone else i don't remember somebody else who's not important no they're pretty good (laughs) um and then atletico had three guys it was coke jao felix and hector herrera Okay. Yeah. What a name. Yeah. So they're they're like mm-hmm. probably three of their biggest players. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so that was really cool. Like, didn't they tell up, you guys to like let the the balls yeah, go in? Yeah. Like, so nah. they're when we first it's like we were like walking out and they're like hey it's like we walked back in real quick and they're like uh, just like save the ones close to you and we're like nah mm, I don't nah, think so like, uh, this, they're they're from twelve yards out like they should score every time um like they're like the best players in the world and so that was really cool though i mean there was like a good amount of fans there and i was probably more more excited for that than the actual game yeah but i love I florida uh i had a pretty good one against rooney nice but other than that like they missed to be fair like quite a bit uh, and like good. in all fairness to them it was like it was kind of a weird say- it was really cool but it was a little bit weird <laughs> so he had to like, go back home to England. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of uh, kind of sucks that he's leaving. Like I thought he was really good for the league, and but whatever. Fam- family comes first, so I think his family would be a lot happier in England. And but speaking about family, I didn't tell you guys this story. But when I when I got home, so on Wednesday, I got home um, from work, and my dad was watching the all. <laughs> the all-star game and he was like oh yeah oh wando's about to score it was madrid who was like about to attack and i was like what are you talking about that's that's not that's not us he's like what red's not red's not the u.s i was like first of all it's not the u.s it's like all of the mls teams and then i was like glad any like, that's any not forward. even wando right there he's like yeah that looks like one oh that's definitely his run and then like two minutes later they're like substitution wando going in and it's like you're so glad any, any forward is just wando hey <sighs> you'll take that for sure so he's rooting for the wrong team and wando's not even in i was like you are a lost cause old man Ugh. so anyway well is that all you have to share about that um yeah i mean i think overall it was a really cool experience like I was hanging out with like some 15. Yeah, oh yeah, I was going to say that. Um for sure. <laughs> like this was the first time in my career I've been like the old guy. Cuz like normally like growing up I've always been the young like on the younger side. Yeah. Even like last year and like here like for the most part like one of the younger guys, but there I was not. proper the oldest person. And so we were out to dinner and like the night before the game and they're talking about some of the coaches and like the staff like got a bottle of red wine or whatever and they're talking about like if people could drink and i was like one of like two people who could actually drink and i was like what is going on like am i that old already get used uh, to that man yeah it only gets geez. worse from I was here like, like this is incredible like these i mean they're really cool like they're cool kids and um uh, like really mature for their age to be fair and but they're still I like feel 18, like a lot 19. of you young guys here are like really mature for your age. Like I was very yeah. impressed with how mature you were like when we first met you. What was that a year and a half, almost two years ago? <laughs> Do you remember the first day that you came here? And we like threw yeah. you yeah. into the lion's den yeah, for that I holiday to, yeah, video? I had to like do the, the elf, elf scenes. Wasn't that yeah. me and you, Sam, that filmed that? Yeah. <sighs> That was good times. So I was like, this guy's a winner. Yeah, he just jumped hilarious. right in on the <laughs> first <laughs> I don't think I'd had much choice, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get off on the right foot. <sighs> you were here. Your entire family was that. How many siblings do you have? Uh, so I have three others, and then I have a sister-in-law as well. So there's four of us. Holy or five boy. of us, I guess, in total. How was that? Are you... Which one? Are I'm you, the youngest. You're the youngest? Yeah. You're the baby of the yeah. family? Yeah, How so, is that? Um, I mean, all of us are really tight. 
And so like we have a really close family, luckily, and we all get along. Um, so, I mean, growing up, it was definitely got a drag to a lot of places, whether it was my, my oldest brothers, he's like incredibly smart. So like he did robotics in high school. So like whether it was going to those competitions, my sister's dance competitions, my other brother's soccer games. So like I was always like with my mom or dad, like going somewhere. And so you kind of, I would probably say that's why like I'm pretty chill. So you said go with flow. That's good. Um, my dad's the youngest of four and yeah. he's like very chill. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't much choice to it. So <laughs> you either had to like do it or else you, like you were going no matter what. Sam, uh, you're the oldest of four, right? Yeah. But you guys are both chill. So I guess being the youngest doesn't really, the doesn't really. Say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm Maybe the youngest. Lost cause. I've got an older half sister, and she's just the complete opposite of me. Like, very quiet and not outgoing. And she's got dark hair, and I've got light hair. <laughs> and it's just the complete opposite. Yin and yang. Wait, but hold on. You're smart too, though, because you went to freaking Georgetown. Yeah, I mean, I like. I like what did you major in? Government. Go- yeah, like so, like poli sci. Holy moly. Yeah. Tell me about that. Because I, I'll like, yeah, dude. Yes. Mark 2040. Just retire <laughs> and then get in a, po- I don't know if we can really touch on politics. Well, we could talk about yeah. politics. It's not, we well, don't have to talk about issues. let's not talk yeah. about politics. No, for that sure. That would be pretty, would you ever do that one day? Um, I mean, it'd be pretty cool. I'd be the president for sure. I could see you as president. I mean, no matter what, like half the people aren't going to like you, so. That's true. You go. You only have to have fifty percent like you. you, you like and then you do a pretty good job. And then you do a pretty good job. So, yeah. You had a lot of success in Georgetown. That I, I, loved I, it. I Wikipedia'd you the other day to make sure I had all my facts. <laughs> did you Did you change anything for me? <laughs> no, I didn't Dang change. It. I don't know how to do that. To be honest, is it easy to do that? I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I don't know either. But talk about Georgetown, like. So, I mean, I guess to bring it. Did back you have a before, full ride? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Isn't Georgetown Luckily, like one of the most expensive? I mean, it's, it's like ridiculous. seventy-two thousand. Oh my god! Yeah, it's crazy. So you have no debt. You None. have no school. You're so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so jealous of that. But talk about Georgetown. Like, how was that? Um, so I visited my junior year, like in the fall, because I was kind of going from school to school. Yeah. So I went. So it was like a long weekend. Like my mom and I flew out to Wake Forest. So we were there Friday, Saturday, and then we drove up to to dc on sunday morning and i stayed there through monday afternoon and then monday afternoon like i got in like the cab to the airport and i called my buddy who was also like going there like thinking about going there and i was like yeah like this is the place for me like i absolutely loved it like as soon as i stepped foot on campus it was like okay this is place is really cool like growing up like in a small town i kind of wanted to be in a big city but i also wanted like a campus feel to it i didn't want like an urban kind of nyu or even like a gw yeah and so it de- like kind of has both like best of both worlds. It was three miles from the White House, but it's also very much a campus view and kind of tight knit. So nice. I loved it. Like it was pr- classes are really cool. Soccer was really cool. And is that the campus that looks like it's from Hogwarts? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I did when we because we went out there for our um, staff trip. How many years ago was that? Two, Two years. years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, and we went and visited the campus. I was like, "Am I in a Harry Potter movie yeah, right now?" Yeah, it's, it's incredible. That's really cool. But it's funny because I actually just like someone from Georgetown who's been there for a long time, like from the East Coast, just came out here and was at Santa Clara, and they were like, "Santa Clara's way cooler than Georgetown." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I was like, "Like Santa Clara is beautiful, like it is like the very like the mission kind of style," but I was like, "Georgetown's just a different level," and they're like, "No, like." We're just used to this from the East Coast, like because that's how all the schools are, and so they thought like the palm trees and like the adobe it's house, like roofs, the palm yeah, trees that, that was the coolest them. thing ever. No, I like that old like history that the East yeah. Coast has. We don't have that here. No, it's I just love different. that. Yeah. So, where do you miss DC? Would you ever like go back yeah. after? Yeah, hundred percent. I really liked it when we were out there. Yeah, it's like, just expensive, like out here though. Yeah, but which, that's the thing. Like, if it's the same price as here, then, then why not? It's a lot cooler living there. Nice. I mean, San Jose's cool and like. I'm from somewhere around here, but yeah, uh, DC is just a different level, I think, and then it's a lot more history. And like, I'm really into that. I'm kind of like a history buff, I, and yeah. so I think it's really cool. I like that too. So, who don't like all you homegrown guys like live together? So right now? it's myself, Nick, Jackson, and Tommy. It's four of us who live together. How is that? It's really fun. So we got like really lucky with our place. So we were looking. 
at the end of last year, like in the off season, like probably November. And we were all kind of like wanting to live together. And I think Nick found this place. Like it was like a Thursday morning. And then Thursday afternoon, we signed the lease. <laughs> like it was almost instantly <laughs> that we were like, okay, we're in. Do you guys ever get sick of each other? Because that's kind of like working with the people that you live with. Like you're always together. Yeah, but like yes and no. Like because we all have our own bedrooms. So like if you ever like to get sick of someone, you can just like go in your own room and you yeah. go chill. And for the most part, it's like only ever Jackson and I. Um because, like, Tommy's room's downstairs. So, like, if he's home, like, he doesn't necessarily, like, have to come upstairs. Yeah. And he's always, like, doing doing stuff. Whether it be, like, appearances that, that or... That dude's always on the move. Yeah. Man. So, he's always, always doing something. And then Nick, like, kind of Nick's similar. Whether it... I mean, a couple months ago, he was gone for, like, two months. Yeah. Like, with the national team. Um, but he also, like, goes home quite a bit and, like, just sees his friends. So, a lot of the times, it's just Jackson and I. It's like, we're in this That's big cool. place. And it's just the two of us. So... And, like, we get along really well. We're both... Like, really chill. Like, I've known him for a long time. So, like, we grew up together, like, playing on the national teams. Nice. So, I've known him probably since, like, like seven or eight years now. Yeah. Who's the, who's the yeah, I was going to ask that, too. Who's the... Who never does the dishes? To be fair, like, we're all fairly clean. That's um, good. Like, we were actually talking about that last night. Like, Jackson and I, like, before we went to bed, we we're like... I think people just think we have like a total trap house. Like a frat. Like, like, <laughs> that's, like, that's what I was trying to get to to see like yeah. what goes on yeah, in there. Yeah, no, like like we have a good time, but it's always clean. Like our house is always clean. You know, I could see that with you guys for some yeah. reason. Uh, I did not do well living with roommates in college. I lived my with college a house was different. Yeah. Oh you know I mean? my God. Like stuff, it was bad. It was bad. Yeah. I had a roommate and we had a falling out right before we were like school was done and I we got in an argument about hair dye and that was it like our relationship was done and she like stole things from me so I had to like go and confront her about it she tried to like she tried to like drop kick me from the back after after we got in this argument about hair dye cuz she thought your your hair dye needed to dry in your hair before you washed it I was like no you're not supposed to let it dry and that was it she like tried to drop kick me in my back when wow. I wasn't looking and it got ugly. Well, that's intense. So I can't do it. <laughs> that, that is a no <laughs> joke fight. <laughs> oh my we God. We were so close before then too. I was like, all right, uh, I guess, guess that's not. the end of our relationship. Uh, severed ties <laughs> quick. I mean, I think a drop kick to the back would probably uh, end any relationship. <laughs> but she did it when I was looking like right in the mirror. So I just went like this and I was like, what are you doing? Like, it was a really fun time. Wow. Two, two legs in the air. Just one. She was actually shorter than me, too, so it probably would have just gotten, like, my thigh mouth. and not my back. <laughs> oh, she, like, put a lot of effort right into now. it, I'm though. I'm thinking it's like a UFC fight. <laughs> Maybe so WWE from the ropes. Great. Uh, okay, so, JT, I came to the realization that I am 10 years older than you, so we're going to do a little where were you All right. at this time. Cool. Okay? So, in 1999... I was graduating middle school. I got um, most school spirit, in case nobody knew Not that. surprising. I, no, I don't know why I got that, to be honest. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. No, I guess that did that did make sense. Cause I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I used to like dressing up for everything, and I really got into everything. But uh, where were you? So it was like June 1999? Yeah. We just moved from Discovery Bay to our house in Alamo, like where we still live as a family. And I was just turned two. But <laughs> Yeah. So I don't remember that at all. But <sighs> Okay. All right. Yeah. Um let's see, let's see. Did you uh, are you old enough to know what a sidekick was? Yeah. Like a flip like your okay. phone. But that makes wear it around your better. neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had the I never had I never had one but Oh, I loved mine. So my how friends old who had one you thought they were like when you got your first cell phone. I was in seventh I grade. How old is that? So I was 14, probably. Okay, I was 16. That's not that bad. Yeah. Okay, in 2005, I was graduating high school. Okay. Where so were I was you? eight. <laughs> that was probably like third grade, probably. Um, I should So not I was have probably done just this. starting like professional soccer, or like not professional soccer. Just playing soccer uh, in general? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Youngest <laughs> signing ever. <laughs> I was just like or, organized, like probably soccer for like the first time. So like U nine, whatever it was, yeah, Mustang. Okay, in two thousand nine, I was graduating college. Where were you? This is hard. Twelve. Um, God. Twelve 
years old. That's so sad. So you 13? Yeah, I mean, I was just, that's hard. Like seventh grade, sixth grade. So I, sixth grade, I was still playing baseball, basketball, and soccer. So I was still playing all three sports. Oh, you were like, you and were into it. the sports. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What? What what are you into? Okay, well, I'm sorry I did that right now because now I feel really old. But what what are you into outside of soccer? Uh, I love sports in general. Yeah. Like growing up, actually, I um like preferred baseball more. Yeah. And so I was like, my dream was to be like a professional shortstop. Um, like Derek Jeter. No. Like, <laughs> well, yes, yes, but but more like. Omar Vizquel from the Giants. Like, my favorite player growing up was JT Snow from the Giants. Okay. Obviously. Okay. Is Derek Jeter before your time? There. That's no. Befo- n- no. I don't I know. Grew, I'm starting to feel no, that I, way no, now. No. I grew up with Jeter. Like, he was an idol of Good. mine growing up. Yeah. I love Derek Jeter. Yeah. What do you, like, what do, you do? Like, Outside of? Yeah. So, actually, I just finished. So, I'm still finishing school because I didn't finish I was my wondering. degree. Okay. Yeah. So, not yet. So, actually, like last week, I finished my summer classes. So oh, not, yo, you didn't grow. Okay, well, I no, still, that's still it. Yeah. That's still worthy. I still worthy. have like ten classes left, so I still that have a long time. Stinks. So these past two classes, they were one was called Race, Rap, and Power. It was like an English class about like rap and hip hop in modern society and how it's evolved. Yeah, it was really sick. And then my other one, it was called Nonviolence in Theory and Practice, and so it was all about. Like Gandhi, MLK. Oh, uh, I would Chavez. enjoy that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool too. Like to learn more. We about. should have a deep thought segment with JT. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Like really get deep down. Like I can talk about some issues for sure. Ooh, <laughs> maybe that won't be a quick sponsor thing. That'll be like yeah. outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Samuel's telling me to wrap it up. So, does that mean we need to? Okay, we're going to do last rapid fire questions. Right. Is that okay with yeah, you, Samuel? Oh, and JT. That's okay with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, teach me something. Like what? Just teach me something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, if we want to like stick on the Gov theme, like I'm pretty, if we want to like, like international politics. Teach me something. So there's two types of power in this world. It's oh. called hard power and soft power. So like hard power is probably like more like military and basically like how how much guns you have or like nuclear power mm-hmm. and soft power is more of like cultural. So like the US has a lot of soft power over a lot of nations because of our like culture and how a lot of people want to be American. I just learned something. Okay, biggest pet peeve you have. People always I don't really have pet peeves. <sighs> Yeah. I can give you one of my pet peeves if you want. I can take yours, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I seriously I don't have like any. I mean, oh god, maybe... I wish I was like you. What about what about I don't know. when you're like it's like a right in an exit lane on a highway and you're like thirty cars back and someone just comes in at the last second Like at that exit. Right at the front. Yeah, but but front. maybe they have to go somewhere and like oh, have to be there quicker Mr. than I do. Yeah. 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 Give me some of that positive <laughs> energy, JT. Like maybe they're in an emergency and they have to go. <sighs> you know, hey, you never know what someone else is going through. So. Okay. What music do you listen to? <laughs> Anything. I'll listen like if right now if I were to go shuffle, it would probably it. be all right. If I had to guess, it would probably be like EDM. EDM. Yeah, let's see shuffle. Would you ever go to EDC yep. in Vegas? Marshmallow. Okay, I've heard of Marshmallow. Yeah. Okay, last one. What are you hypocritical about in life? Mm. Jeez, that's that's like a deep question. I don't know. Um, maybe like keeping others to like higher standards than myself. So like expecting more, but I probably should expecting more to someone when maybe I don't expect that out of myself. That's a good one. That's deep. GT. You're a stand up guy, man. <laughs> All right. Well We can get real deep if you want. We yeah. could, yes. That's that'll be for another time. We'll bring you back on and then we'll do a I'll deep thoughts. Yeah, we'll like put thoughts. on we'll put on um like meditating music and we'll just have Some deep incense. thoughts. Yeah, yeah perfect. We'll sage the room yeah, before we do it too. I'm okay. In. Cool. Well, thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. I enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, thank you. We'll talk again. Can't wait. Ta-ta! Can't wait.